Minecraft Bedrock Edition is an interesting version of Minecraft, both for its functionality and for its limitations. Depending on which platform you're playing it on, anomalies like the Farlands may or may not even generate. If you're on an iPhone, for example, Farlands. If you're on Windows 10, nothing. However, there are two fundamental limitations that all versions of Minecraft Bedrock Edition share. The first is after 16.77 million blocks, where a phenomenon known as the Stripe Lands appear. And two, you cannot teleport beyond 30 million blocks in the vanilla game, with the exception of using the Nether, which allows you to reach 32 million blocks instead. But recently, I started thinking. Way back in August of 2016, I used an external server that supported teleporting beyond 30 million blocks, but I didn't do that much research with it. So after years of not knowing how to pull this off again, I finally figured it out. Today, we are going to see what lies beyond 30 million blocks in modern versions of Minecraft Bedrock Edition on both the horizontal and vertical axes. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's check it out. So why am I doing this all of a sudden? Well, in the last video I made about the limitations of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, I showed that every time you double your distance away from spawn, things break more and more. The last limitation that you could personally witness resides 16,777,218 blocks away, which is where the stripe lands appear. However, it's not possible for us to double our distance again by just teleporting, given that the teleportation limit is 30 million million blocks, because the next limit actually lies over 33 million blocks away. But then, a few users on my public Discord server decided that they were going to use the Nether to get to 32 million blocks in the overworld, which is possible, and then fly the remaining 1.55 million blocks manually. And then they just did it. However, because they did it on a flat world, no more terrain appeared at all from this point. So that got me thinking, is there a way to do this in modern versions of Bedrock Edition via teleportation? And well, I wouldn't be making this video today if the answer wasn't yes. So how did I do it? Well, rather than finding a server host that supported teleportation in this manner, I figured out that the server software known as Pocketmine is the software responsible for allowing this behavior. While I cannot directly teleport billions of blocks out, what I can do is teleport in 30 million block increments all the way to the world's limits. Another detail that makes Pocketmine super interesting for this is while its default world generation is absolutely garbage tier, the far lands don't generate at all and land generation isn't really affected at all at large distances. This will become important later on. So, now that we can teleport beyond 30 million blocks, what happens next? Well, the next limitation of Bedrock Edition is at 33,554,432 blocks. At this point, things get interesting. As you can see here, all horizontal block rendering stops entirely, leaving only vertical block rendering in its place. If you take a closer look, you can see what almost looks like multiple vertical layers stacked next to each other, as if the terrain has been drawn on a canvas or something. Another interesting thing that I figured out while writing this script was from 16.77 million blocks onwards, if you specifically move via teleportation, Minecraft's camera has a chance at completely breaking. Beyond 16.77 million blocks, Minecraft completely fails to recognize every other block as anything other than invalid, preventing your camera or any form of movement from working at all in these invalid spaces. If we double our distance again, three out of every four blocks are invalid. I mean, take a look at this. I've teleported, I can move my camera, and now I have to teleport four more times until I can move my camera again. If I double it again from there, seven out of every eight blocks are invalid, and it goes on and on, all the way out to the 32-bit integer limit, where Minecraft will crash if we try to load it into our point of view. 
And up until I finished writing this script, that was all that I had for the horizontal limitations of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. But then it dawned on me. I have teleported out 33.55 million blocks in one single direction, but not both directions at the same time. So what happens when I teleport that far out on both directions? Well, the result doesn't surprise me too much, but it is certainly pretty neat to look at. In one corner, the corner stripe lands. In the two other corners, vertical gapped stripe lands. Yeah, I don't even know what to call these. And in the last corner, beyond 33.55 million blocks in both directions, nothing. There is nothing else that generates. So, all right, we've explored all of the horizontal limits of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but what about the vertical limitations? Well, just to make one thing perfectly clear, this isn't the Cubic Chunks mod. No chunks are gonna generate above or below the height limit like they would with that Java Edition mod. However, the movement resistant effects and stuttering effects, along with the camera movement problems that occur along the game's horizontal limits that I explained before, all also occur along the game's vertical limits as well. Seriously. I mean, in Minecraft Java Edition, we can teleport all the way up to 2 to the power 1024 blocks and nothing bad will happen. However, Bedrock Edition, in its classic stubborn nature, crashes after going 2.147 billion blocks up, even though it can apparently render 2 frames of that distance. I, I don't know. And because I know someone is going to ask this, all of the upward height limitations also occur if we go below the world as well. If you guys want to give all of this a try for yourself, just download and set up Pocket Mine according to Pocket Mine's instructions and give it a whirl. Just don't use it to actually play Minecraft on because it's very outdated and very basic. Just use it for this if you're going to use it. So, yeah, that just about covers that. That's all that I've got. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.